Putin can't solve this. Ukraine is using Russia's cell phone calls as targets. The Ukraine war just gets worse for Russia. During the Second World War, throughout the United States and the United Kingdom, posters warned that loose lips sink ships. It was just one of several themes cautioning how careless talk costs lives. It may seem like hyperbole and even fear-mongering, as one poster showed a dead U.S. soldier with the warning, careless talk got there first. Well, maybe such posters could make a return across Russia, as careless talk may have enabled the deaths of hundreds over the weekend in Ukraine. The Ukrainian officials have successfully targeted a Russian military dormitory, housing new recruits in the Donbass region by listening into their unsecured cell phone conversations. It's just the latest debacle from Kremlin forces, which are now engaged in the 10th month of fighting in Ukraine. It has already become obvious at present that the main cause of the occurrence was activation and large-scale use, contrary to the ban, of personal phones by personnel within the reach of enemies' destruction means. First Deputy Head of the main military political department of the Russian Armed Forces, Lt. Gen. Sergei Sevrukov told reporters on Wednesday, This factor enabled the enemy to take the bearing and determine coordinates of servicemen located to deliver a missile strike. Required measures are being taken at present to exclude such tragic incidents in the future, added Sevrukov. The state media outlet also reported that a commission charged to investigate the circumstances of the incident is working and required measures will be taken to exclude such tragedies in the future. Moscow has claimed that 89 soldiers were killed in the weekend strike in the building that served as a former vocational school in the Russian-occupied town of Makivka. Kiev's forces claim that hundreds of Russian troops were in the building. The Ukrainian forces had fired six rockets from a U.S.-provided HIMARS multiple launch system at the building where the soldiers were stationed. Two rockets were downed by Russian air defense systems while four hit the building and detonated, prompting the collapse of the structure. A memorial service was held on Tuesday in Samara, in southwestern Russia, where mourners laid flowers and held a minute's silence for the dead, according to the state-run RIA Novosti News Agency. Though it is likely that mobile phones may have helped Ukrainian officials target the facility, analysts have suggested there were other factors at play. Given the extent of the damage, there is a realistic possibility that ammunition was being stored near to troop accommodation, which detonated during the raid, creating secondary explosions, the UK Ministry of Defense suggested via a series of tweets on Wednesday. The MOD added that the Russian military has a record of unsafe ammunition storage from well before the current war, and noted that this incident highlights how unprofessional practices contribute to Russia's high casualty rate. The building struck by the Ukrainian missiles was little more than 12 kilometers from the front lines and is within what has been described as one of the most contested areas of the conflict. There has been outrage in Russia, with many pro-war bloggers and journalists expressing frustration at this latest military failure. The story of mobiles is not very convincing. Semron Pegov, a Russian war correspondent who was recently awarded an Order of Courage from Vladimir Putin, said in a telegram post on Wednesday, NBC News reported. I rarely say this, but this is the case when it would probably be better to remain silent, at least until the end of the investigation. As such, it looks like an outright attempt to smear the blame. According to the most recent estimates posted by the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, Russia has lost an estimated 2,230 personnel in just three days of fighting. That would bring the number of Russian dead in Ukraine to over 108,000 since the war began February 24, 2022. Moscow disputes those numbers.